I'm Christian Jones. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer for Nanoform. Uh, my role within the company is to look after sales, marketing and our uh, global commercial strategy. Nanoform is an innovative nanoparticle medicine enabling company and we work with major pharma and small biotechs to help to progress their drugs in clinical development and hopefully enable them to market. As drug discovery has developed over the last 10, 20 years, we've actually used up a lot of the simple compounds um, for, for taking forward as blockbuster drugs. We're now left with highly complex compounds that we need to progress into clinical studies and to market. And that really introduces big challenges. It introduces big challenges in drug development. As the complexity of the compound increases, so does the solubility and bioavailability issues. Today, over 70% of all molecules in clinical development have solubility and bioavailability issues. And that's not even taking into account the compounds that haven't progressed into clinical development. We believe that there are at least 50% of compounds that don't enter clinical development because of solubility and bioavailability challenges. And at Nanoform, we're looking to address this issue. The use of nanoparticles, specifically below 100 nanometers, can radically change the solubility and bioavailability properties of a compound. What happens is as you progress from 1 micron down to 500 nanometers, you increase the specific surface area by a factor of about two or three fold. Sometimes this has no impact on the, the compound's solubility or bioavailability uh, uh, challenges. But as you go from 500 nanometers down to 100 nanometers, you go up by a factor of 20 or 30 fold increase in specific surface area. So there you're starting to see some improvement. And that's where current technologies finish. With Nanoform, we're able to go as small as 10 nanometers. No one in the pharmaceutical industry can do this today. And this gives us the ability to increase the specific surface area by more than a thousand fold. And this is a game changer for solubility and bioavailability. The advantages we see by being able to reduce the dose of a medication are many fold. So for example, if we can reduce the dose by 90%, which we believe we can do in some instances, that could have a significant impact to the cost of goods for manufacture of both the drug substance and the drug product, environmental burden, um, going more towards a, a carbon neutral footprint, reducing the size of manufacturing for the pharma industry, and being more efficient as an industry. And I think the efficiency of pharmaceutical uh, development is something which we really need to address. And we all should be responsible for this. We spend $180 billion a year in R&D and only 50 products get to market. When you compare that to other industries that probably spend a tenth of that amount and put thousands of products on the marketplace, I think there is an opportunity to use new technologies to try and improve pharmaceutical efficiency. Not only can reducing dose um, improve manufacturing optimization, but it can also have a benefit for the patient, reducing side effects, maybe enabling pediatric formulations. And of course, there are lots of drugs that fail today. And we should revisit some of those that have failed due to toxicity, because a reduction of dose could have a significant impact and maybe take some of those products forward. There's a huge opportunity not only to use nanoparticles to improve solubility and bioavailability of medicines, but also to impact drug delivery. We've seen applications from ophthalmology through to respiratory, deep lung penetration and reduction of dose for steroids, to blood-brain barrier penetration, possibly the panacea of drug delivery. Being able to make nanoparticles of 10 to 20 nanometers that can go through the tight junctions would be groundbreaking. And also that leads on to other opportunities such as penetration of tumours 
and having a better penetration into the tumour environment. These and many other areas for drug delivery are very exciting opportunities that we look to address with Nanoform. Twenty nineteen has been an exceptional year for Nanoform. We've transformed the company from I think when I joined uh, just over a year ago it was 18 people. We're now over 40 people. Um, we've grown significantly. We've attracted a world-class talent to our organization from uh, amazing scientists to strong leaders in our management team and to exceptional board members. We want to grow. We're a very ambitious company. And as such, we have to grow on strong foundations. We've invested um, in our people, we've invested in our facilities. This year in June, July, we raised 10 million euros and that's really helped us to accelerate that growth. 2019 has been a great year and we're very fortunate to have ended the year on a high, having received the CPHI Excellence in Finnish Formulation Award. This is a great award to have received, recognises the work that we've done with our technology and the future possibilities for nanoparticles in clinical and commercial development and manufacture. Twenty nineteen, as we've said, has been a very strong year. We've set a good foundation for accelerated growth for twenty twenty, and now we want to realise that. Um, we've built up some excellent relationships with key pharma companies. Um, we need to develop those relationships and deliver um, on those projects. Um, we will have a GMP facility ready for clinical development um, and the Finnish Medicines Authority will give their GMP um, inspection very soon. So we're hoping that by the first quarter of 2020 we will have a GMP uh, clinical nanonization capability ready for the pharmaceutical marketplace. We ultimately want to grow with our customers and support them on their development projects and we're very excited about the opportunities that are on the horizon for Nanoform. Thank you.